Rumours about China's next generation J-36 fighter jet have taken social media by storm recently. While the escalating tensions in the Asia-Pacific are fueling geopolitical debates, China's stealthy sixth-generation jet is taking the agenda to a whole new level. While President Trump said in his remarks at the White House that the J-36 could threaten the balance of power in the region, American defense experts are expressing concern that this aircraft may be more advanced than we think. But has the J-36 really reached a level that can compete with America's sixth-generation efforts? Or is this new model just China's attempt to create psychological superiority? It's time to unravel the mystery surrounding this jet. Before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, and like to stay informed about our content. According to Chinese sources, the J-36 has the capacity to stun the world aviation community with its fuselage design and coating technologies that minimize radar signature. The tailless design of the fuselage, special air ducts that increase engine efficiency and advanced propulsion systems that enable advanced maneuverability are described as features that will make it unrivaled in future air wars. In other words, it opens the door to a whole new technological horizon, far beyond the experiences gained from the J-20. In fact, according to some defence analysts, this aircraft partially embodies all the parameters of the sixth generation. Rumours in the American media also suggest that the J-36 has a serious history of espionage behind the scenes. For example, it is claimed that China has been obtaining critical information from American aircraft projects for years, especially from designs such as the F-35, F-22 and even the unfinished F-47 through cyber attacks or industrial agents. President Trump has tried to reassure the public that while we are concerned about the leaked data from the US defense industry, none of our secrets can be completely solved. However, reports circulating on social media claim that the data obtained through espionage is already being used in aircraft such as the J-36 and J-50. China's overconfident statements further fuel these claims. Statements from the Beijing administration that the new jet is a breakthrough in its ability to evade radar detection are raising tensions in Asia. Interestingly, official sources are careful not to give too many details, but some images of the J-36's test flights are being shared on social media platforms. Some posts claim that many technical details from the cockpit design to the power of the engine, are advanced enough to surprise even American engineers. But is this really true? Pentagon circles say they are working on new tests to measure the J-36's ability to remain invisible to radar. President Trump has also said that this is a matter of national security for us, that we are determined to counter their moves with our next generation air power, implying that measures against the J-36 are already being planned. Nevertheless, the US public is of the opinion that if China has indeed obtained critical information from projects such as the F-35, it can make rapid progress with the J-36 and J-50. This would likely lead Washington to both increase its defence budget and accelerate its sixth-generation aircraft programmes. China's other surprise is another design, the J-50, which has created at least as much agenda as the J-36. Some defence analysts believe that the J-50 is a true sixth-generation aircraft. The reason is that it is rumoured to be compatible with hypersonic weapons. If this is true, the J-50 could become a platform that could challenge the United States and its allies, not only in terms of stealth capabilities, but also in terms of the munitions it carries. However, it is said that the J-36 is a design that focuses more on air superiority, while the J-50 is a model with increased striking power that can be used in versatile operations. Of course, at this point, the sixth generation projects of the US should also be put on the table. This is a big day for our warfighters. This is a big day for our country, a big day in the world. The name of this program is the next generation of air dominance. The F-47 or the next generation air dominance project, which has been on the agenda for a long time, is also a favourite of President Trump. Although Trump has reassured the American public by saying that our Air Force is working on technologies that will be superior to all threats in the world, 
Experts emphasize that the F-47 project requires serious budget and time. If China has infiltrated the basic data of this project through espionage activities, the technical advantage of the United States could be eroded much sooner than expected. A scenario that is frequently voiced in the American media is that the J-36 and J-50 are being produced by copying the US sixth generation aircraft concept. While the veracity of this scenario is debatable, it is certain that Washington will not take such a risk. President Trump emphasized the seriousness of the matter at a press conference in April, saying that, we have hard data on the espionage allegations. American companies and defense agencies are under strict protection. Nevertheless, there have been some leaks. Trump's statements that we will take the necessary measures quickly indicate that urgent steps will be taken to close some of the gaps in the defense industry. But can these steps slow China down? Or has the information already captured been used on the J-36 and J-50 to create a new global air power imbalance? Military activity in the Asia-Pacific is also exacerbating the issue. Japan and South Korea are conducting joint air exercises with the United States, while China is frequently reported to conduct air patrols in the vicinity of these exercises. There is no definitive information yet on whether the J-36 or J-50 participated in these patrols. But some images shared on social media show silhouettes of unidentified aircraft, allegedly different from the J-20. Comments about the J-36 are shared thousands of times in a short time. This raises the question in the eyes of the public whether the J-36 is really already in the skies. Some military experts on the US side believe that the J-36, like the F-22, is a design focused on air superiority, while the J-50 will more closely mimic the mission diversity of the F-35. If China can develop both air superiority and a multi-role operational capability with these two aircraft, it could reach a stage where it could challenge American dominance in Pacific waters. Although President Trump has sent a strong message that our allies should not worry, our air power is always ready. This technology race is unlikely to be driven by political rhetoric alone. It is already known that China has intensified its cyber espionage efforts, especially in the last decade. Attacks on American defense companies have been repeatedly reported in the local and foreign press. Each time, warnings were issued that not only commercial data, but also military projects were targeted. Could it be that the J-36 and J-50 are now demonstrating that these warnings were true? Some sources say that China will not stop here and will quickly copy technologies such as drone swarm management. There are also signs that China is closely monitoring the artificial intelligence-powered mission planning system, which is seen as one of the most critical parts of President Trump's F-47 project. This is a reminder that the seemingly unshakable US air superiority is no longer so absolute. If the J-36 has indeed achieved sixth generation standards, with what features does it achieve this? According to defense industry lobbies, the J-36 features advanced radar absorption materials, special coatings that provide all-round invisibility against a wide range of wavelengths and a next generation engine technology package. Chinese engineers have allegedly obtained data on adaptive engine systems that have long been tested in the US. This means the aircraft can maintain efficiency at both high and low speeds. It is also claimed that the J-36 has a cockpit software compatible with the network-centric combat infrastructure, typical of sixth-generation aircraft. At this point, some experts believe that the data-sharing protocol in the US F-35 project has been copied. Of course, this has not been confirmed by official authorities, but it is being discussed extensively on social media. On the other hand, China seems to be making rapid progress on the J-50. This aircraft, which is claimed to be effective in air-ground attacks and anti-ship operations, is likened to the multi-role structure of the F-35. While President Trump has taken a dismissive approach to these projects saying, all our friends around the world are trying to be inspired by our technology, but it's not easy for them to succeed. Some generals in the Pentagon take the opposite view. According to them, the era of copying technology has already begun. 
which is why the US side needs to rapidly modernize existing platforms such as the F-22 and F-35, or to put projects such as the F-47 and NGIGD into operation as soon as possible. But the financial dimension is another problem. Because it has been repeatedly stated that these projects cost up to trillions of dollars. From an economic point of view, it is not an easy matter for the United States to maintain such large increases in defence items every year, despite its huge budget in the world. In contrast, China, thanks to its rapid economic growth and state subsidies, is able to continue its defence projects unabated. The J-36 and J-50 are perhaps the most striking evidence of this. According to the American media, Beijing is pouring billions of dollars into these projects and is willing to spend heavily, without any concern for the bottom line, simply for the sake of strategic superiority. This determination positions Beijing as an aggressive power in the international arena. President Trump summarizes this as China is not going to stop. It will steal technology and strengthen itself at every opportunity and it is up to us to tighten our guard and get faster. On the other hand, from a defence industry concept perspective, there are many who say that the J-36 and J-50 could be game changers. If both of these aircraft become fully operational, it is likely that China will be able to achieve both air superiority and the capacity to launch multi-role attacks. This could increase China's military influence not only in the Pacific, but also in regions such as the Middle East or Africa. Many countries may be looking to buy the J-36 or J-50 in the near future, just as they used to line up for the F-35 or the Russian Su-57. Speculation about this is already appearing in the media. It is in this last part that the allegations of China spying on secret American aircraft technology, such as the F-35, seem most questionable. If the F-35's special coating formula that minimises radar signature, its software structure or engine cooling system were indeed stolen, it could undo years of US R&D investment. President Trump has said, We are never caught completely off guard, but if information is stolen, there is no going back. Moreover, if China is able to adapt and further develop this technology for its own aircraft, the J-36 and J-50 could reach their full potential much sooner than expected. This could mean that existing US platforms such as the F-22 and F-35 are no longer unrivaled. Moreover, it would also put at risk the F-47 or NGAD projects that are expected to emerge in the near future. Fund. If they were able to get the secrets of the F-35, they probably have their eyes on the data of the sixth generation projects some analysts say. This espionage dimension exacerbates already existing tensions between the two superpowers. A technology war has been added to the ongoing trade war on the economic front. President Trump has warned Beijing that any espionage and cyber attacks will be held to account. China, on the other hand, responds by saying that our technology is indigenous and rapidly developed, and officially denies the accusations. But the reality on the ground shows that the J-36 and J-50 are advancing rapidly. In fact, military analysts in Asia predict that these aircraft could reach full combat capability within two and three years. It is a big question mark whether the US will be able to mass-produce the F-47 or the NGAD in a similar time frame. In other words, if there is a time gap in competition, it could favour China. The White House press secretary said last month, President Trump has ordered record funding for our next generation projects. He said that the US defense industry will not be left behind in any way. Estimates in the American media suggest that this budget will reach hundreds of billions of dollars. Until very recently, no one expected the two giants to converge so quickly in the air power race. Now the world is wondering whether the J-36 and J-50 are truly revolutionary aircraft. If China has obtained critical information from American aircraft projects, including the F-35, it cannot be ruled out that not only the J-36 and J-50, but also future models could be rapidly developed. This could jeopardize US dominance in the Pacific and upset the geopolitical equation. The F-22 jet is also of great importance. China may have obtained important data from the F-22. In many ways, 
Lockheed Martin's F-22 Raptor represents the ultimate advanced fighter jet. With its unrivaled stealth, supersonic cruise capability that can maintain supersonic speeds without afterburners, and advanced avionics, the F-22 rules the skies. Its ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously, combined with its superior maneuverability, makes it a formidable opponent in any conflict. The F-22's integrated avionics suite provides the pilot with a comprehensive view of the battlefield, improving situational awareness and decision-making. Thrust vectoring engines enable agile maneuvering and give it an edge in air combat. The combination of these advanced features guarantees the F-22's reputation as a dominant force in air combat. The powerful features of this jet could also have fallen into Chinese hands through espionage. Although President Trump's reaction to this issue is that the US will never play second fiddle, China's message that whatever step the US takes we can do better is pushing the world into a protracted military technology competition. China will want to gather all this data and design jets that can defeat the F-35 and even the F-22. China's J-20 fighter jet was designed for these purposes. China's Chengdu J-20 represents China's ambition to field an advanced fighter jet that can compete on the global stage. The J-20 incorporates stealth features, long-range flight capabilities and advanced avionics. Its development validates China's growing prowess in aviation technology and its strategic focus on air superiority. The J-20's design emphasizes stealth with an angled shape and internal weapons bays to reduce radar cross-sectional area. Its long-range capabilities extend its range and impact, enabling it to engage targets far from Chinese territory. The J-20's avionics and sensor suite provide comprehensive situational awareness, making it an important asset in China's military arsenal. But are there any other fighter jets whose data China might want to acquire? To answer this question, we can look to the European side. Of course, one of the first types we will see is the Eurofighter Typhoon. The product of a pan-European collaboration, the Eurofighter Typhoon exemplifies cutting-edge technology and operational versatility. With its agility, advanced sensors and powerful engines, Typhoon delivers outstanding performance in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. Continuous upgrades ensure it remains a formidable force in the skies. Typhoon's agility is a result of its aerodynamic design and powerful engines, allowing it to maneuver aggressively in combat. The sensor suite includes advanced radar and electronic warfare systems that provide comprehensive situation awareness and self-protection capabilities. Typhoon's ability to integrate new technologies ensures it remains relevant and effective in modern combat environments. Another jet is France's precision fighter Rafale. France's Dassault Rafale is renowned for its precision and adaptability. Equipped with advanced avionics, electronic warfare systems and robust armament, the Rafale excels in a variety of mission profiles. Its combat-proven record and ongoing improvements make it the cornerstone of France's air power. The Rafale's avionics suite includes advanced radar, infrared search and tracking systems, and electronic warfare capabilities that provide comprehensive situational awareness and self-defense. Its robust armament enables it to engage a wide range of targets, from air-to-air -air missiles to precision-guided munitions. The Rafale's adaptability ensures that it can operate effectively in any combat scenario. In fact, every change and innovation in the fighter jet is on Beijing's radar. The Beijing regime will follow the data of all new generation and powerful fighter jets, including the F-47, in order to create a dominant space and airspace in the Pacific and to design jets like the Chengdu J-36 and the Shenyang J-50. The US feels obliged to take countermeasures against this, because it seems that in the future, wars will focus almost entirely on air dominance, unmanned fighter jets and vehicles. Thank you for watching.